So I decided to make this video because it's not very obvious and it's very useful. So you go in your passive tree, you type fortify, you can see that there is only two nodes of fortify that is in the in this lower area of the passive tree. And you can check that there is a fortify mastery to which melee hits fortify. So if you can have access to this side of the passive tree, you, you should go there and pay for this one. Because if you, you can see that if I have the fortify support gem in my setup, I have only 19% more melee damage, as melee physical damage support gives me 48% more, so there is a 29% increase in, instead of just 19 more that you get from passive tree. So the only option that I see that you should use the fortify support gem in your six link setup is the power melee builds that once you fortify you don't, you don't have access to this side of the passive tree. So, or if you're a champion for that matter, if you have, uh, if you're a champion with the ascendancy that you always have fortify. So that's it. Fortify support is not for melee characters that are doing this or juggernauts that have access to this. If you, if your tree gets here, you should pay this because it's a lot more damage. And also one of these two nodes, they are going to give you a little more of tankiness and dying is never an option. I hope I helped and subscribe for more. Bye.